Hello dear students so today now we would move ahead in the second chapter of class 10 science that is acids bases and salts previously we have talked about uh, the pH okay about we have talked about the pH scale and the universal indicator we have talked in detail there okay so if you if you have not gone through that one lecture so I would request to you uh, so please go through that one lecture as well okay so now uh, we would continue here and we would uh, know more about the pH okay what is this pH okay now if you see uh, BH pH stands for power of hydrogen power of hydrogen pH so it stands for power of hydrogen so basically in 1990 Sorensen developed a scale and this is known as the pH scale on which the strength of acid solution as well as the basic solution could be represented by making use of hydrogen ion concentration in them. So Sorensen developed a scale. So basically it was just uh, means uh, ranging from uh, you can say uh, 0 to 14. So here in between you have the value 7 there, then here 6, then 5 then 4 then 3 then 2 then you have 1 then you have 0 then similarly you have here 8 then 9 10 11 12 13 and then you have 14 so this is how the pH scale is there and different different colors are uh, also there that you must have seen okay now uh, the solution which is having the pH value as 7 was considered because this is in between here so the solution having uh, the pH value as 7 was consider considered as the neutral solution and the solutions which are having pH value more than 7 are considered to be basic solution and the solution having the pH value less than 7 are considered to be acidic solution. These are the basic solution. Okay. So and the solution having the pH value exactly 7 would be considered as the neutral solution. So this was the scale which was developed by Sorensen in 1909, 19 or not 9 you can say, okay. So basically on the basis of this scale we can find out the strength of the given solution, whether it is acidic or it is basic. If its uh, pH value is coming out to be less than 7, then we would call the given solution as the acidic solution. If its a pH value is coming out to be more than 7, then we would call the given solution as the basic solution. Okay, we have discussed in detail about this in previous lectures as well. So uh, basically, we are going to talk about the formula here also. Okay, so Ransom just uh, given a formula for finding out the pH. Okay, so pH would be equals to minus log 10 base. Uh, the concentration of the S positive ion okay so means the pH is basically depend upon the concentration of the H positive ion or you can say OH negative ion also at the same time okay so you can find out the pH value on the basis of minus log 10 base uh, OH negative ion or you can find out pH equals to minus log 10 base H positive ion okay whatever you are going to take here okay so uh, means uh, Ha, means if you are uh, going to find out the concentration of the uh, H positive ions there and uh, with the help of the logarithm so there is a calculation there minus log uh, 10 base we would be knowing more about this log there in the upcoming lectures okay so minus log 10 base H positive ions are there okay so H positive ion means it stands for the concentration of the hydrogen ion there in the solution you have the solution there so in solution as positive ion denotes the concentration of the hydrogen ion concentration of the hydrogen so as much as the hydrogen are hydrogen ions are there in the solution as much as hydrogen ions are there in the solution so lesser will be the pH value just you have to remember okay so these two are inversely proportional that you have to remember means if the concentration of the hydrogen ion increases in the solution if the concentration of the uh, uh, hydrogen ion increases in the solution so its pH value is going to be decreased it means what if the pH value is going to be decreased it means the solution would be acidic solution isn't yes and if the concentration of the S positive ion decreases it means the pH value increases yes or not if the concentration of the S positive ion decreases the pH value would be increasing then then in case that case the solution would be basic in nature so on the basis of this uh, calculation we can find out the given solution as basic or acidic okay so basically we are using a formula that was given by Sorensen so pH would be equals to minus log 10 base concentration of the S positive ions 
okay so if you have a solution here so if in this solution if there are more number of H positive ions then the pH value is going to be decreased it implies what if the pH value is going to be decreased then the solution would be acidic in nature okay so if the concentration of the H positive ion just decreased then it implies the pH go is going to be increased so we can say that pH would be more than 7 then we can say the solution is basic in nature are you getting this so uh, means we can say that yes pH is inversely proportional to the concentration of the H positive ions that you have to remember that you have to remember okay means you have a solution if the solution consists of more number of H positive ion just remember this if the solution consists of more number of H positive ions then the solution would be acidic in nature if the solution consists of more number of OH negative ions remember this if the solution consists of more number of OH negative ions then we would call the given solution as basic in nature that also you have to remember okay are you getting this so let me write this also here okay before this you note it down so this also you have to write so pH of a solution is inversely proportional to the concentration of the S positive ion it implies as the concentration of the S positive ion increases in a solution so pH value decreases so it implies was the solution is acidic in nature okay so as the concentration of the S positive ion decreases so pH value increases so it implies what solution is basic in nature are you getting this are you getting this just note it down okay then after i would be telling you something more about this and one thing more uh, the solution having more number of s positive ions is acidic and solution having more number of oh negative ions is basic suppose you have a solution here you have s positive many s positive ions are there many s positive ions are there many s positive ions so the solution having more number and lesser oh negative ions are very few here so this one solution consists of more number of s positive ions it means this solution is what this solution is acidic in nature but if you have a solution here this is acidic but if you have a solution having more number of oh negative ions this is hydronium ion okay more number of oh negative ions are there only lesser number of s positive ions are there so it is having more number of oh negative ions it means this solution is basic in nature okay are you getting so the strength depends upon the s positive and os negative ion okay so if there are if there are more and more number of s positive ion the solid then the solution is having more acidic strength and it would be a stronger acid remember this as much as the s positive ions are there so the solution would going to be stronger you would call it a stronger acid okay as much as os negative ions are there the solution would be strong base isn't okay just note it down also then after we would be discussing something more about this okay note it down please one more formula is also there that also you have to remember if you want to find out how to find as we are talking about the concentration of the s positive ion so how we are going to find out the concentration of the s positive ion so there is a formula Concentration of S positive ion would be equal to number of moles of S positive ions in the solution divided by total volume of the solution. If you are dividing this, you would be getting the concentration of the S positive ions. Okay. So it's a formula. We would use this later. Okay. But before this, note it down. Then after we are going to discuss the use of means the role of pH in our daily life. That is also a very important topic here. Okay. What is the role of the pH that is power of hydrogen in our daily life? Okay. That we are going to talk uh, after this. Please note it down. So if you are discussing about the role of pH in our daily life, so most important case is the pH change as the cause of tooth decay. Okay. So most of us are facing the tooth decay one problem. Okay. So this basically uh, there is the change of pH in our mouth. Okay. So if the pH of our mouth changes means it uh, decreases from 5.5. Uh, if, it, if it is less than 5.5. If the pH value of our mouth is less than 5.5, then the tooth decay starts. Okay, then the tooth decay starts. So what happens? The bacteria present in our mouth 
break down the sugar to form acid okay whatever the food that we are eating so it contains the sugar okay so inside our mouth there are some bacteria so these bacteria would break down the sugar okay and after breaking down the sugar they would form they would form the acids there in our mouth they would form the acid there in our mouth so uh, the amount of acid is going to be increased yes or not so this uh, would lower down the ph of our mouth yes or not because the well the ph value of the acid is decreased okay so if the bacteria is breaking down the sugar in our mouth so it uh, it would form the acid inside our mouth so that is why the ph value of our mouth is going to be decreased yes or not if the ph value of our mouth is less than 5.5 it becomes if it if it becomes less than 5.5 then the tooth decay starts yes or not so this what happens this acid lowered the ph of our mouth making tooth decay therefore we should clean the mouth therefore uh, means uh, thoroughly after eating the food whenever we are eating the food we should clean our mouth okay otherwise the sugar would be there okay and the bacteria inside our mouth would break down the sugar and they would form the acid inside so the ph value would be decreased if the ph value is decreased it means what it means our uh, the so, sorry the tooth decay would start after that okay now if you see the tooth enamel by which our teeth are made up okay tooth enamel so this tooth enamel is made up of the calcium phosphate okay so these are our teeth okay so the enamel this is made up of the calcium phosphate uh, we can say this is the hardest substance in our body so our teeth are the hardest substance in our body that you must be knowing and these are made up of the enamel of our teeth is made up of calcium phosphate okay so it is the hardest substance it it is not going to dissolve in the water remember this okay so tooth start decaying when the ph of the mouth is less than 5.5 okay due to the corrosion of the calcium phosphate what happens as we already are knowing corrosion about the corrosion we are already, already knowing this okay so if there is the acid in our mouth okay as the bacteria is breaking down the sugar there so there would be the amount of acid increase in our mouth so what happens the uh, calcium phosphate is going to be corroded now it gets uh, it gets corroded it gets corroded and the tooth decay means tooth decay starts okay and uh two decay starts when the ph of the mouth is less than 5.5 if the ph of mouth if the ph inside our mouth ph value of uh, inside our mouth is becomes less than 5.5 if the ph value you must be knowing all the ph values as we have discussed 7 is here if means downward means less than 7 means acidic okay so if the ph value of our mouth decreases okay if if it becomes less than 5.5 so the amount of acid would be there in more in our inside our mouth so the calcium phosphate by which our tooth enamel is made made so this is going this calcium phosphate is going to be corroded now and therefore it starts the tooth decay problem there okay now what is the remedy okay how can we prevent this so mostly we are using the toothpaste there okay so if you see most of the toothpaste are basic in nature are basic in nature so base base means having the ph value more than 7 bases are having the ph value more than 7 okay and inside our mouth the ph value is less than uh, 5.5 if it is less than 5.5 then only the tooth decay would start okay now need is what need is to increase this ph value need is to increase this ph value how do you increase this because there is a more amount of acid in our mouth okay so if you are using the toothpaste this toothpaste is basic in nature most of the toothpaste are basic in nature so if you are using it those this ph value is going to be increased now if it is more than 5.5 now so now our tooth decay can be prevented after that okay so that is how the toothpaste uh, most of the toothpaste are helping in preventing the tooth decay how because these toothpaste are basic in nature so they would neutralize the acid the amount of acid is more there so what would happen the base would neutralize the acid and therefore the ph value is going to be increased if the ph value increases so tooth decay can be prevented after that okay so that is why we are using the toothpaste so this is the use of ph in our daily life okay so when the ph value decreases tooth decay starts so to increase the ph value we are using the toothpaste Yes or not? Because toothpaste is basic in nature, so it would increase the pH value. If it is, if it becomes more than five point five, so tooth decay can be prevented after that. 
yes or not note it down now the next important role of the ph in daily life is the second number is plants and animals are sensitive to the ph values also so there are the uh, means uh, the particular conditions on which the plants and animals can survive for example we are the human beings okay so we are feeling comfortable when the ph ranges from 7.0 to 7.5 okay so if our body uh, if our body if, if the ph value of our body ranges from 7.0 to 7.5 then we are comfortable there yes or not but if it increases or decreases then we are not comfortable yes or not so living organism can survive only in a narrow range of ph values for example uh, our body can work within 7.0 to 7.5 range 7.5 ph range okay so within this one range we can our body can work properly okay so uh, uh, on the basis of the there are uh, some other organisms also uh, which also can survive on the different range of the ph values so the ph value matters for the animal's life also if the ph value increases or decreases so the survival of the animals would be difficult okay for example uh, you must have uh, heard about the acid rain how it is when ph of the rain water is below 5.6 how it is below 4 point suppose the rain water is there this is the rain water but this is the rain water so if the ph value of this rain water becomes less than uh, less than 5.6 let's say the ph value the ph value becomes uh, means uh, less than 5.6 so what would happen means how it is becoming less than uh, 5.6 because the rain water which is there so it would sometimes this rain water is absorbing some acidic gases in the atmosphere there are many acidic gases also in the atmosphere like carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide so these are the gases which are present there in the atmosphere so when these gases are uh, mixing with the uh, rain water there okay sometimes this rain water is uh, just absorbing uh, these acidic uh, you can say gases so when it is absorbing so the water becomes acidic in nature so this one rain would be called as the acid rain then. we would call it as the acid rain when why we are calling it acid rain because this uh, rain water is absorbing the carbon dioxide and nitrogen dioxide these are the acidic in nature these are the gases which are acidic in nature so if it is absor absorbing so the water becomes acidic and its ph value uh, if uh, just uh, less than 5 points if it, if it becomes less than 5.6 then we would call this rain as the acidic rain remember this okay if the ph value of the rain water becomes less than 5.6 it would become less than 5.6 when when this rain water is absorbing the acidic gases which are present there in the atmosphere if the acidic gases acidic gases are more than in the atmosphere well, like in case of the pollution etc these acidic gases are more than so when it is raining there so this rain is going to absorb these acidic gases and the ph value is going to be decreased if it is less than 5.6 then this rain you would call as the acid rain so what would happen when this rain goes through the river now the water of the river also become acidic so the the water of the river also become acid and its a ph value is decreasing yes or not so the animals or the aquatic life which is there uh, in the river like fish etc they also uh, can survive in a particular ph value range okay but if you see the water uh, which is there it's a ph value less than 5.6 so it would be difficult for the aquatic life to survive in this one condition also okay remember this so fish etc they are going to die in such condition okay in most of the cases you must have seen there okay fish etc these are all these all are going to die how because the water is acidic in nature it's a, it's a ph value is going to be decreased then okay so this is how this is the second uh, means the role of the ph uh, in our daily life in case of the plant and animal, plant and animals so plant and animals also can survive in the uh, particular ph value range okay just note it down now the next important important role is uh, soil uh, ph and plant growth okay so if you see the ph value of the soil is close to 7 okay if the ph value of the soil is close to 7 then the plants can grow uh, best okay plants can grow best if the ph value is just near to 7 okay near to 7 somewhat less somewhat more but not too much less or not too much more okay but if the ph is near to 7 then only the plants uh, could grow best okay uh, like suppose if the soil is too acidic now sometime it becomes soil becomes too acidic means the ph value is decreased more and more 
if the ph value is decreased of if the ph value of the soil is decreased it means the soil is acidic in nature now solid soil has become acidic so what you, what would you do you would treat this soil with some basic substances yes or no to increase this ph value need is what need is to increase the ph value if you want to increase the ph value of the soil you would treat this soil with some basic sub, uh, substances uh, like quick lime uh, which is also known as the calcium oxide that is cao okay or slaked lime also sometimes you are treating this one soil with the slaked lime also also known as the calcium hydroxide caoh whole twice okay or sometimes you are treating it uh, in some cases we are treating it with chalk also which is also known as calcium carbonate caco3 so these are basic in nature if you are treating uh, this one soil means the acidic soil uh, with these basic substances so the ph value would be increased and would reach near to the 7 okay then soil would be uh, means uh, uh, means uh, means good enough for the plants growth yes or not now uh, let's say if the soil uh, is alkaline means uh, the soil becomes basic in nature alkaline is basic if the ph value of the soil soil increases means it becomes basic in nature okay so your soil your soil is become basic in nature okay so if its ph value is more than 7 means the soil has become alkaline so what would you do you would treat in this in this one case you would treat this soil with some acidic substances like we are treating this uh, with some uh, decaying organic matters like in uh, home also we are using it manures fertilizers compost etc so we are treating this one soil with these things uh, so the ph value decreased now yes or not and this is near to the seven and it would be good enough for the plants growth yes or not so this is how we are treating the soil also to maintain the ph of the soil to maintain the ph also. so this is how uh, there is a very important role of the pH in case of the soil or the plant growth also. So please note it down. So here we have another role of pH in our daily life like in case of the self-defense also. Some animals are there and some plants are there. Uh, so uh, for, for the purpose of self-defensing, uh, so they uh, inject some chemicals into the skin if you are touching them. Okay, uh, let's say in case of uh, the ant, when an ant stings a person, uh, so when an ant stings a person, it just basically inject uh, 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 you can say an uh, an acidic liquid into the skin of the person. Okay, it is known as the formic acid, also known as the methanoic acid. Okay, H C O O H. Okay, formic acid, also known as the methanoic acid. So basically, when an ant when an ant stings a person, it injects uh, an acid known as uh, formic acid inside uh, into the skin of the person and it causes severe pain due to the acid there because the ph increases sorry decreases ph value decreases so it causes severe pain in the in the body then okay it causes severe pain and irritation also okay uh, so this is means kind of self defense by the ant same in case of the honey bees also so for the purpose of self defense they are injecting some chemical uh, you can say uh, some acidic liquids uh, into the into the body or in some cases the base liquids also basic liquids also okay similarly when a person means if you are accidentally if you are touching the nettle leaf nettle leaf you must be knowing in common language we are just knowing is as the current 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 plant okay uh, when you are touching it so you feel some current like okay so if you have the nettle leaf it has some sting like hair like this okay so when you are touching the hair here so the sting uh, stinging hair are here okay so if you are touching them so these stinging hair are just uh, injecting uh, a liquid acidic liquid known as the methanoic acid also known as formic acid same it is formic acid or SCOH methanoic acid also is the chemical name for this okay so if you are touching it it would inject a chemical known as the methanoic acid into the skin and it causes the severe uh, pain and in some cases the burning pain also okay so that is why it means it is only for the protection okay for the self-defense they are injecting it yes or not if you are touching them okay so this is again a role of the ph in our daily life because when they are injecting the acid in your body so the ph value decreases yes or not so if the ph value decreasing so it would cause some burning effect there yes or not so this is how the animals and plants are uh, means uh, defensing uh, means themselves by injecting the chemicals into the body when you are touching them okay just note it down 
so when we are also suffering from the indigestion in some cases we are also suffering from the indigestion problem in our daily life means indigestion means uh, the amount of acid that is a, is in our that is in our stomach uh, that is the acl acid hydrochloric acid so if the amount of the uh, acl increases so we would call it the acidity okay it is known as the indigestion so it leads to the indigestion problem so uh, to prevent it uh, we are taking the antacids antacids means because the amount of acid is more there in our stomach amount of acid is more so to lower it down we would take some uh, substances which are basic in nature yes or not so for that purpose we are taking some antacids okay for example you are taking the milk of magnesia and the formula is mgoh whole twice in some cases i have told there mgo also but it is not right there okay write it mgoh whole twice this is the formula for milk of magnesia that is magnesium hydroxide okay so when we are taking this milk of magnesia that is an antacids so uh, it would relieve you okay okay so this problem could be eradicated by using this milk of magnesia the indigestion problem if you are suffering from the indigestion problem then in that case we are using this antacids milk that is milk of magnesia note it down now as you are finding out the ph value we have already discussed the ph value is equivalent to what it is equivalent to minus log 10 base power concentration of the s positive ions so these are we are calculating this ph value so you should know the concept of the log also the different values of the log for the base 10 okay if you see log 10 base x means different values i am taking for the x here so if it is log 10 base 1 its value would be 0 if it is log 10 base 1 it is suppose so its value would be 0 if it is log 10 base 2 its value would be 0.3010 log 10 base 2 log 10 base 2 its value would be 0.3010 so these are we have the different values of the log if it is log 10 base 10 log 10 base 10 it is here so its value would be 1 just remember this okay so its value would be 1 in case so these are the different values of the log for 10 base for base 10 okay if it is log 10 base 1 value 0 log 10 base 2 value 0.3010 log 10 base 3 value 0.4771 so these are the different values for the log 10 base so these are we this would this would help you in case when you are doing the calculation for finding out the ph values okay this would help you please note it down now again i have written some logarithm properties also here these uh, formulae would help you in uh, solving the numericals related to while you are finding out the ph values there okay so we have the different different formula related to the logarithms here so if it is log uh, a base xy this is the product rule x multiply y it is okay if these two are multiplying so this is the product rule so you would say you would call it as log a base xy so you can write it as log a base x plus log a base y this is how you can write it similarly this is the quotient rule if it is dividing okay you just uh, read it as uh, log a base x by y so you would write you can write it as log a base x minus log a base y so in case of the division there would be the minus okay now you have the power rule also there so if it is log a base x raised to the power p so this p would come here so you can write it as p log a base x okay now if you are changing the base let's say the base is a here now you are changing it to b let's say you are changing the base into b so how would you change this log a base x you can write it as log b base x divided by log b base a so this is how you can change the base also okay now one more property is there if log a base x is equal to log a base y base should be same here also base a here also base a so if it is log a base x equals to log a base y so it implies what it implies x is equals to y this also you can write so these are some properties which are the logarithm properties so these properties would help you in solving the numericals related to find while you are finding out the ph value there okay so okay that is all for today now in the next video we would be discussing some numericals related to the ph values so that is all for today thank you have a good day